Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. It seems like the nights are full of dreams of catastrophe these days. Small personal catastrophes though, not those catastrophes on a world of wide scale. Uh, I went to the new Star Wars movie last night and uh, it was it was full of strife and and contention and the fight of evil and darkness against good and light. And uh, I had a very hard time um, uh, uh, I could feel my celestial ascension team working through the layers of images in my head at night. I just couldn't sleep for a long time um, because of the, the like the very vivid images that were there, maybe from the movie or from something else that was going on in the world. And but they were working very hard and uh, having a wonderful time doing it. And so eventually, I guess it got everything clear and quiet, pacific and harmonious and so forth. Then in the middle of the night, I woke up and I was having another terrible nightmare. Um, it had to do with a woman who was six months pregnant, a young woman, probably 30s or 20s, who was in um, six months pregnant and she, her husband had come to believe that the child that she had was not his own. And he had given her a drug that night and himself a drug that aborted the child. And the child was born live, but um, fatally dosed with drugs, it seems. And I could hear the, um, the father of the child, someone else apparently, uh, saying, that he would give the in his own like dreamtime realm saying don't kill this child my wife and I will raise it as our own we will give you ten thousand dollars for the child and and just as they as the young ex-mother looked down and said this child is worth ten thousand dollars apparently the child died and uh, they were both so heavily drugged the the, the cuckolded father and the mother uh, he it, it was a very disturbing dream very disturbing I don't know what to make of it he he first decided to cut up the baby he said he wanted to cut the buttocks off of it and cook them and then the woman later said the mo mother said she, that he had cut off the baby's head and then uh, uh, he, he said now I want you to uh, have intercourse with me. He didn't say it exactly like that. And she said no, she couldn't right then. She, she, uh, she was too tired and sick. And he said, I think, he stood before her and he said, I think it's a small thing to ask of you. And then he raped her. And, and, and that was just as she was giving birth to the placenta, the afterbirth. And... Um, so then she said she just wanted she wanted some solitary time she wanted to rest and uh, the story you know it seemed to get worse it was he was holding a gun and threatening her life and uh, I just I figured my awareness there you know if that were true which probably it wasn't my awareness there wasn't helping in the least so uh, it, it was just causing a grandstanding effect and a magnification of the violence that was being portrayed. So I did my best to to remove my energy from that situation and drifted off to troubled sleep. I have to say that this and the uh, nightmare of a few days ago are some of the most um, problematic nightmares that I've had so far. And for this one... I wish for all the unborn children of earth peaceful and and trouble-free passage into uh, life in human form. I wish for them parents who feel res respect and love for them and who wish for them to be on earth. I wish for all the children everywhere to be deeply loved and cherished by all the beings now on earth. And that is my hope for humankind for the coming year.